Opening arguments and the prosecution's first witness today in the case against former Utah Attorney General John Swallow. Political specialist Lad Egan's live at the Matheson Courthouse in downtown Salt Lake. Lad? Dave, the day started with about three hours of opening testimony that the jury listened to. The defense says that this case is politically motivated with twisted evidence. Meantime, the prosecution argues that John Swallow was part of a triangle of power, corruption, and greed. There are a lot of people involved, of course, because this thing went on for many, many years. And if I lose you, don't be discouraged and make this government prove everything that you just heard from Ms. Collins now and prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. It's not going to happen. It is just not going to happen. So Swallow faces 12 felonies, including bribery, accepting gifts, and money laundering. The defense showed the jury a timeline to help them understand when Swallow was a private citizen and when he was in public office. This afternoon was dominated with a lengthy testimony of a key prosecution witness, Mark Jensen, who detailed meeting Swallow for the first time. He said, I, I can't live on what they're going to pay me as an employee until I become AG. And, and so I, I need to make some money. So I need to participate. I, need, I want to do legal work for you. I, I want to work for you until I go and work at the AG's office. Jensen was the first prosecution witness. He became emotional at times, talking about being prosecuted by the attorney general's office. He did go to prison for failing to pay $4.1 million in restitution to two investors. Jensen today went through receipts and photos showing when he allegedly paid for Swallow to visit the Pelican Hills Resort in Southern California. That list of receipts showed dinners for $600, golf outings totaling in the thousands of dollars. Former Attorney General Mark Shurtleff, who was Attorney General before Swallow, was a part of a lot of the discussion today, but we should, of course, say that charges against Shurtleff have been dismissed. Dave, this trial expected to last nearly a month, and it could drag on longer than that uh, with how we get through these witnesses. More than 120 witnesses are on the list. Back to you. All right, Lad Egan, live for us in Salt Lake. Lad, we'll see you tomorrow. A price man, police.